The average car in the United States travels around 12,000 miles or 19,000 kilometers a year. With current battery technology, most electric vehicles offer a range of under 300 miles or 480 kilometers. But what if you could drive an EV for over 1 million kilometers or 621,000 miles? Researchers in South Korea have now developed a new battery technology breakthrough that could make this a reality, causing quite a stir in the EV industry. So, what kind of battery is this? And what does it mean for the EV industry? Join us as we discuss this and more. Currently, most EVs are powered by lithium batteries. These rechargeable batteries work by storing energy like a tiny power bank. When you plug in your EV, electrical energy gets converted into chemical energy and stockpiled inside the battery. Then, when you hit the road, the battery reverses this process, changing chemical energy back into electricity to run your car. Pretty cool, right? But how does it all work? The secret ingredient is lithium ions, tiny charged particles that zip between two parts of the battery, a cathode, positive side, and an anode, negative side. In most EVs today, the cathode is typically made from nickel because it can hold a lot of lithium ions, giving the battery a longer range. However, there's a catch, these nickel-based cathodes are like tiny castles built from many small bricks. During charging and discharging, these bricks can get damaged, which shortens the lifespan of the battery. That's why scientists are looking for ways to improve these cathodes for even better performance. A new study from Pohon University of Science and Technology, Postec, in South Korea suggested that new lithium secondary batteries could give electric vehicles the capability to travel up to 1 million kilometers. Traditionally, EV batteries use nickel-based materials, but these can get damaged over time when they're charged and discharged. This damage shortens the lifespan of the battery limiting how far an EV can go on a single charge. The researchers at Postec have a potential solution. They're developing a new type of battery material with a special single crystal structure. Imagine a regular battery material like a pile of bricks. In this new design, the bricks are all fused together into one giant super-strong brick. This makes the material denser, harder to break, and more resistant to damage from charging and discharging. It turns out these single crystals are made by heating the nickel cathode material to very high temperatures. But here's the mystery, scientists haven't quite figured out exactly how hot is hot enough to create these super cathodes. To solve this puzzle, researchers focused on finding the perfect temperature, like a magic recipe, to cook up these single crystals. They experimented by heating a specific nickel cathode material, NCM88 at different temperatures and watched how it affected the material's ability to store energy and how well it held up over time. Their discovery was exciting, they found that if the temperature wasn't hot enough, the usual weak brick castle cathodes formed and wore out quickly, but when they cranked up the heat past a critical point, whoosh, perfect single crystals emerged, and these super cathodes lasted much longer. T. The researchers weren't just happy with this discovery, though. They took it a step further and figured out the perfect way to cook up these super cathodes every time. They created a reliable method for making high-quality single crystals, paving the way for building even better batteries for electric vehicles in the future. This new single crystal material held up much better than traditional battery materials. This suggests that EV batteries made with this new design could last for a significantly longer time, potentially allowing electric cars to travel up to a million kilometers on a single charge. That's like driving from Lagos. Nigeria, to London, England, and back several times. Professor Park, who led the research, is excited about the possibilities. Speaking to the media, he said, we've come up with a new way to make these battery materials stronger, which could be a game changer for electric vehicles. While this technology is still under development, it offers a promising glimpse into a future with longer range EVs. He also said that they will continue this research to make secondary batteries for electric vehicles cheaper faster, and longer lasting. The good news for anyone considering switching to an electric car is that they're getting better and better at going the distance. According to the Society of Motor Manufacturers and Traders, SMMT, the average range for all electric cars available in the UK has jumped to a respectable 236 miles, but that's just the average. Recent data shows that new electric vehicles are boasting an even more impressive average range of close to 300 miles. Some high-end models are pushing the boundaries even further offering a range that tops 450 miles on a single charge. This increase in range means there's also a wider selection of electric vehicles to choose from. With over 100 EV models now available in the UK market, you're more likely to find a car that perfectly fits your lifestyle and driving needs. For city dwellers, 
there are smaller, more convenient EVs like the Citroen Ami. This electric car boasts a range of up to 46 miles, making it ideal for zipping around town for errands or short commutes. On the other hand, some brands, like Tesla, focus on building EVs for performance and long journeys. Many Tesla drivers report getting around 300 miles on a full charge, making them a good choice for those who travel longer distances regularly. The future of electric car range is even more exciting. A recent demonstration by Chinese automaker NIO showcased the potential of next-generation batteries. Their new ET7 electric car completed a test drive of a staggering 648 miles, 1,042 kilometers, using just 97% of its battery capacity. This test, conducted at an average speed of 52 miles per hour in cold weather conditions, minus 2 to minus 12 degrees Celsius, hints at the incredible range that future EVs might be capable of achieving. This battery technology, with a 1 million kilometer lifespan, has the potential to revolutionize the EV industry. Here's how. Firstly, it would crush range anxiety, a major barrier to EV adoption. Imagine being able to drive an electric vehicle knowing you could travel anywhere and back several times over without worrying about battery degradation. This instills confidence in consumers, making EVs a more attractive choice for long-distance travel. Secondly, it would significantly reduce ownership costs. Replacing an EV battery is expensive. With a million-kilometer battery, owners could potentially own the car for its entire lifespan without needing a battery replacement. This translates to major savings and improves the overall affordability of electric vehicles. Thirdly, it would boost the second-hand market for EVs. Currently, concerns about battery health and replacement costs make used EVs less appealing. However, million-kilometer batteries would ensure used EVs remain reliable and valuable for much longer, encouraging more people to consider pre-owned electric cars. This technology could also open doors for entirely new electric vehicle applications. Long-range electric trucks capable of hauling freight across continents or electric airplanes for short regional flights could become feasible with such batteries. This would further reduce our dependence on oil and create a cleaner transportation landscape. Finally, this technology would benefit the environment. Production of EV batteries uses resources and energy. By extending battery life significantly, we would need to produce fewer batteries overall, reducing the environmental impact of EV manufacturing. Overall, a million-kilometer battery technology holds immense promise for the EV industry. It could address consumer concerns, lower costs, and create a more sustainable electric transportation ecosystem. While this specific technology is still new, it represents the exciting direction battery research is taking. What do you think about this? Let us know in the comments section.